Hey guys, it's Fida and today we're going to be making a very delicious dessert with Lotus Biscoff. It's very very similar to tiramisu, it's almost exactly the same. Except instead of using ladyfinger biscuits, we're going to be using Lotus Biscuits and the cream is going to be flavoured with Biscoff. We can also turn this into little mini desserts, especially if you have guests over. We can make it in small cups like this and then serve them individually. So without any further ado, let's get on to making this. First, let's begin by making the cream. For that, into a large mixing bowl, let's pour in 2 cups of whipping cream. The one I'm using is already pre-sweetened, but you can use a normal unsweetened whipping cream too. Next, let's add in some mascarpone cheese. You can obviously use store-bought, but if you want to make it at home, I've previously posted the recipe, so you can go check that out. Then, let's add in a generous amount of Biscoff spread. Next, we need to add in sugar. Now, my whipping cream is already sweetened, so I'm not adding in much sugar. I've just added in 2 tablespoons, but even that is too much. So if your whipping cream is sweetened, you can completely avoid the sugar. And if your whipping cream is not sweetened, you can add around half a cup of sugar or more if you like it extra sweet. Next, I've also added in a tiny bit of vanilla extract and then I'm whipping it all together. We need to whip it until it becomes around stiff peaks consistency. Once we get to stiff peaks, we can switch off the hand beater, just scrape around the sides and then our Biscoff cream is ready. Next, we need to make the coffee mixture for dipping our lotus biscuits. For that, here I have some warm milk. I'm pouring that into a bowl along with some coffee and a little bit of sugar. Whisk together until it dissolves. And then it's time for assembling our dessert. I'm taking each lotus biscuit and dipping it in the coffee mixture, then placing it at the bottom of a square pan. Make sure you're not dipping the biscuits for too long because the milk is warm and the biscuits are going to fall apart very very quickly. Next on top of the biscuit layer I've added in a very thick layer of the Biscoff cream that we made. I'm using an offset spatula to spread that and even it out. Now this part is optional but it obviously adds a very good flavour to our dessert. I've melted some of the Biscoff spread and I'm just pouring it on top like this. And then we can continue with our second layer. Just do the same thing as before. Line up the biscuits dipped in the coffee. And on top of that, let's add a huge dollop of cream. Spread that out and even it with an offset spatula. Now we need to let this sit in the refrigerator for at least 5-8 to eight hours before we can serve it. Now instead of making it in that square bowl, you can also do it like this. Make mini dessert cups. I had some of the biscuits and cream left, so I'm assembling them into these small cups. For this, I've crushed some of the lotus biscuits and then I'm placing it in the bottom of this cup, then pouring in some of that coffee mixture, just a very little bit. Then let's pipe on top a thick layer of the Biscoff cream. Pour some of the melted Biscoff spread and continue the same thing. Add another layer of the biscuits crushed, another layer of the cream. And then you can decorate it however you like. I'm just covering the top with the melted Biscoff spread. And then we need to refrigerate this for around 5-8 to eight hours before it's ready to be served. Right before serving, I'm placing a lotus biscuit on top and also topping it with a little bit of biscuit crumbs. And then our mini dessert cups are ready. Now let's get back to the bigger one. Here I've taken it out of the refrigerator after 8 hours. Now we have to decorate it before it's ready to be served. So I'm just piping on small dollops of cream with a round piping tip. You can obviously decorate it however you like. I'm also sprinkling on top some of the biscuit crumbs. And here our Biscoff tiramisu is ready to be served. Let's cut into it. 
and then you have a delicious slice of biscoff dessert you can see all the layers perfectly the delicious rich cream along with the soft layer of biscuits with a hint of coffee i hope you try this recipe out send all your feedbacks in the comment box if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching love cooking bye bye